Oh my god. I only watched EA Play because of Star Wars Battlefront 2. We're going to be talking about We Spun Star Wars game and Star Wars Battlefront 2, and now finally things are now picking up. Welcome to a short episode, maybe long episode, of Adisac Gaming Time. So we Spawn is making a Star Wars game after the cancellation of their last one. Now they're actually making another one. Um, it's about Jedi and it's set between Star Wars Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope. And it's about, and to me, it seems to me that this game is taking place around Order 66 and it's said to be very dark. Yes, there'll be lightsabers there and so much more. At the end of this video I will put the full press conference about two of these games at the start at the end of this episode. But for Star Wars Battlefront 2 <laughs> let's get to the major stuff. We already know that Solo uh, Season 2 Part 2 update will be coming next week which will be on Tuesday. It will be with Extraction Mode, No Skin, New Skins, Kessel, and much more. And not just that, but they've revealed that Star Wars Battlefront 2 will have a new map called Genosius. I guess that tease wasn't a fake after all. Not just that, but for villains, General Grievous, Count Dooku, heroes, Anakin Skywalker, and Obi Wan Kenobi. So, I wonder if that actor who f uh, voices Obi Wan Kenobi, one of his answers now. Is he voicing him? Because I couldn't imagine anyone else. Um, anything else that I need to really say? Um, no, but all I will say is that I am happy, I am excited that we're finally getting this for this summer. My prediction is that my prediction is the summer months is July, August and September. So the sooner the better, I will be very happy. And they said that they'll be going deeply into the Clone Wars. But now, for, for Respawns and also Star Wars Battlefront 2, here are the full uh, press conference, assuming someone has uploaded them from EA Play. And also, a reminder, I, I've been told that E3 starts uh, next week from Monday. I'm here, sitting inside the crowded EA Play, and I just happened to find Mr. Vince Ampella here in the audience from Respawn. What's going on, Vince? How are you feeling today? I'm feeling great. I love this stuff. I love seeing new games. I mean, someone's super excited about that man on PC, right? Yeah! So, um, you guys may have seen that uh, Vince was tweeting yesterday, and there has been a bunch of speculation. So, uh, you want to just get right to it? Sure. I mean, we're not ready to show all of our stuff yet. We're working on a bunch of stuff. It's amazing. The teams are kicking ass. But we wanted to bring a little tidbit. So we've been working with Lucas on getting the name and kind of the setting for what our Star Wars game is going to be. And we're going to talk about it right now. Oh, you guys got any guesses? I bet you the, the internet is going wild right now. I hope so. <laughs> So the Star Wars name is Jedi Fallen Order. Woo! So Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Yeah. So it kind of gives you some idea that you'll be playing a Jedi. Right. So does that mean I get to like hold a lightsaber? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so Vince, you got, a, you got anything else? Well, it takes place during the dark times. Trying to be a little vague here, but when the Jedis are being hunted, so... It's going to be spectacular. So for all the, like, the hardcore nerds out there who want to know like, where in the timeline, like, what, between which episodes is it? Between three and four. Okay. All right. Between three and four. That sounds like a nice time. You got it, uh, any other tidbits? No? It's not a nice time. It's a dark time. It's a dark time. <laughs> Bad time. Does that mean it's going to just be all dark and serious? It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I think people are now anxiously want to know, like, what, when can we play the game? Uh, it will be holiday of next year, 2019, not this year. So, sorry to dash any hopes. No. 
<laughs> but now that we know, we can set expectations. We're all going to be amped up. And uh, hopefully we'll hear from more from you maybe, uh, maybe next year. Oh, yeah. Well, Vince, <laughs> it was great to see you. Thanks for stopping by the show today. Uh, we do have a little bit more news on Star Wars, so I'm going to toss it over to Dennis. Hello there. My name is Dennis. I work at DICE in Stockholm on Star Wars Battlefront 2. I'm really happy and excited to be here today, so thank you so much for hanging out with me for a little bit. So we launched our game in November of last year, and clearly we didn't get it quite right. So instead of coming out of the gate sprinting like we really wanted to, we had to take a step back and make sure that we were delivering the game that our players really wanted. So we decided to completely overhaul our progression system and add a bunch of new character cosmetics for players to collect instead. So from there, we added a new hunt mode, inspired by the original Battlefront games that I loved personally, starting with the Ewoks on Endor. And <laughs> thank you. Uh, we, um, it turned out to be by far the most popular update of the game, and the team loved building Ewok hunt. So as you might know, we're currently in our Han Solo season with content from the movie coming next week. It's headlined by the new planet Kessel, a really dangerous place, and it features the return of one of our favorite modes, Extraction. So looking forward a little bit, this summer we will be introducing a new squad system to the game, which will allow you to team up much easier and play with your friends. We're also adding a new Starfighter mode focused around dogfighting with your hero ships. And looking ahead a little bit more, we will also be delivering a new large-scale multiplayer sandbox experience focused around capturing command posts and attacking and taking out capital ships. But that's not all. We know that you have been asking for new heroes, villains, and planets from a certain era that features a very iconic Star Wars conflict so I'm excited to confirm that Battlefront 2 this year will be going deep into the Clone Wars. It's only fitting that we begin on the planet Geonosis, featuring multiple levels, including the largest level we have ever built for Battlefront. So let's talk about the heroes and villains. First, let me introduce the most powerful droid, <laughs> the leader of the most powerful droid army in the galaxy, General Grievous. And yes, he will be going up against my own personal favorite, Jedi Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> Finally making his debut in Battlefront after all these years. So, but we're, we're not done, that's not it. They will not come alone. Joining them is the Dark Lord and leader of the Separatist Alliance, Count Dooku as well as someone to bring balance to the force, Obi-Wan's unruly Padawan, Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> the team at home is extremely excited to be building all of these cool things. EA and DICE are committed to Battlefront. We had a rough start, but I really think that this game has a bright future. Thank you very much for playing the game, providing us with your feedback, talking to us. Together, we will make this as the greatest game that we can possibly build. There would be no Battlefront without you. So thank you, may the force be with you, and enjoy the rest of E3. Thanks. So there. <laughs> oh, I am so happy that it's actually so weird. Like, you can't believe how happy I am. So, now we've actually got this. Can we please stop just moaning about it? Because we're getting the people that we always wanted. Yay! <laughs> oh, the future is now bright for us. That was about what to it is. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And funny enough, General Grievous was the actually only image, and you know what's weird? I feel like I've seen that image before, months ago. 
Thank you guys so much for watching and may the force be with you.